Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we're going to be making one of these. <clears throat> I saw these on Facebook about three or four months ago and I was surprised that they were selling them for that much and I thought I can definitely make one of those as long as I found the right font because you know some of these things just won't work on different fonts. <clears throat> but I wasn't going to make one until a teacher, a friend of mine said, hey, I would love one of those. I thought, okay, fine, I'll give it a try. And I figured it out accidentally, but I did figure it out. So we're gonna start off with Google Drawings. It's right here. You can get a free a free account. It doesn't cost anything. You just go to Google Drawings and do a search and it should show up. <clears throat> and it's a free, free account. Again, don't have to do anything to, to have it. And we're gonna open up a text box click it right there and I'm gonna put in somebody's name I don't know somebody awesome like me control a now here's the important part you can try different fonts but the one that I found works consistently is this one right here Pacifico because it connects all the words together automatically and you need something like that now the last time I showed you drawings I suggested you go from file to <clears throat> download and PNG this time, you can actually just go to scale, scalable vector graphics, and what do you get? You get a file that automatically can be imported into Tinkercad. So, wow, I did not pay attention where I saved that. Let me see where I saved it. Teacher gift. I'm calling this a teacher gift because that's how, you know, I'm going to remember. So here's her design. Now I'm going to import mine. Import, choose file. Amparo SVG, and I'm just going to hit import and see what comes up. Do, 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 do. Let me move that. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. Okay. Not bad, right? So here's where I'm going to do. I'm just make this a little bit bigger so I can see it on the screen better. And here are the features you need to change to make it work. You click on it and then you get this, your settings, right? You want the quality to be high. So I'm going to maximize that. Very important. You also want it to be outer line. Now, when you change it to outer line, you get another option here. Sharp and then there's round. I prefer round. Okay. Now, sometimes it'll take a few seconds for it to update. And there, it's ready now. And the line width, you see how it's kind of thick? You want to press the number one here and it should be exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so that's essentially it. Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, I want you to notice that Miss Davis's name, they all have a bottom that's pretty much consistent with everything else. Whereas my name has a dip with the letter P. So, what I would do is I would create some sort of box or a stand that it can uh, sit on. That way it won't fall over when you print it. Make it as, essentially you want it to be the same thickness as this one right here, or the same uh, number. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this and I want it to be in, on that line right there. So I'm gonna use the arrow key and I'm gonna move it right. Okay, perfect. And I want this one to also be on that line now let me just verify that it is, and it is. So now I'm gonna, you see how it's sticking into that right there? You don't want that. You just want it to be inside. Oh, I'm gonna change the snap grid. And there, that's good. But I'm gonna duplicate that and then move it over here. I'm gonna hit the shift so it stays in the right place. And then move it over here. So now the name will stand up. Now, if you wanted to decorate this thing, that'd be cool too. But now, if you uh, increase it, let's see what Miss Davis is, 28. So at 30, it's a pretty good size. But here's the thing, at this point, you need to be aware of your printer size because if your printer is a max of 140 and then you try to print this thing that is 192, it's not going to work. But here's another trick. 
Okay, let's look at this print or this work plane. Let's see what it's what it's currently at. And this is a little trick that help you understand what you're actually working with. So this has a max of 240. Let's change it to 140 because that's the smaller the smallest printer I have is prints at 140 millimeters by 140. So let's change that. Okay, so we're good, right? This is 140 by 140. Now I want you to see this part right here. I'm going to group these things. Control G. Yes, okay, that worked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it on its side. And this is something that will allow you to print at a much bigger size if you're printing on a smaller bed. You want to rotate this 45 degrees. And do you see how it almost fits on the entire bed? If you print it diagonally, you'll have more space to, to uh, print something that's a little bit longer than, than usual. Okay, so... This right here would fit on the smaller bed, right? So this is at a 45 degree. Now I'm going to move it back 45 to make it go across. Would it fit on the printing bed now? It still wouldn't, but at 162.34, it would definitely fit diagonally. So that's a little trick for you guys that uh, have a smaller printing bed printed this way, and it should be fine. Now, another thing you can consider because I'm... In the video that I showed you earlier of Miss Davis's name, you did have the ability to see through it. However, you might want to consider you might want to consider having a backing to this. So I duplicated this, and now I'm going to just leave it um, default, and then change it. Oh wait, I'm going to let it catch up to me. Right. Okay, good. It's doing that. Okay. You see how it's, you know, it looks normal, right? Another thing you can do is move it down and let's just make this one. So now when you print this, you want the print you want to print this facing up. That way you don't need any supports. Same thing here. You want this facing up, which is gonna reduce your printing size, but again, <coughs> you get the work the little trick I showed you still works. It just has to be smaller than the printing bed itself. So there you go. But I want you to see this. See, now her name will have a little backing down at the bottom. And uh, you'll be able to create some shade inside of here. And the name will actually stand out more if you do this. So that's another option. Just make sure it's not too thick. And if it's printing up, you won't need any supports. And that is always a plus. All right, well, thanks for watching this, and I hope you subscribe and like and hit the notification. That way you know when I'm, my next video comes out, and have a great day.